Khulumka, Khurumjari, and good evening to everyone. My name is James Mitei. And first of all, thank you. Thank you very much, the Asa Holy Cross, uh, for the opportunity to share my some of experience with you all. Uh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. And uh, I will just share my some of experience in my life so that it may help you. Right now, at this situation, in this uh, Corona, COVID-19 pandemic situation, and as we all know what is the situation right now here, uh, and the situation is getting serious day by day. In the village, uh, as we all know, not everyone is aware of what exactly, what precaution or what necessary steps we have to take I would like to first request to all of you, please share the correct information uh, regarding the COVID-19 to your families, uh, to your friends or anyone in your village or hometown, whoever. At this juncture in our life, nobody have expected this, but as it came, so we cannot ignore it. We have to fight. We have to fight and overcome. As a human, we have to keep going keep fighting, keep moving. We have to keep in our mind to live a positive and very happy, fulfilling life, which we should have, I guess, uh, to live a successful life. And by successful, I don't mean you have a course of money or uh, something big. No, by successful life, what I mean to say for me, the successful the meaning of successful is uh, your happiness. How do you get, how do you feel happiness in within your life? But I have seen people who have crores of money but inside they die every day. They fail to uh, get that happiness. So telling about the basic things which I feel and which I uh, know and which I have experienced and which I have adopted and uh, I have uh, followed uh, is like uh, no complaint in life. For no complaint in life, what I mean is every time what I did is taking all the blame to myself. In, For example, in what family you are born? I belong to a lower middle class or something you can say that. But I have never complained for that. I have never complained to the Almighty or to my parents, to my neighbor, to my government, to none, but wherever I belong, it's enough for me. Why it, it is enough? I, ac I have accepted the fact that this is the family, this is the condition, and in this, this is the family where I have, I'm born. And I cannot do anything. So what I have to do is, and what I did is, accept the fact that this is your family, this is your financial status, this is your society, this is your religion, whatever it is, whatever, wherever you are born, you cannot fool yourself. You can fool the world by using expensive, expensive things. But inside, if you are really poor or something, you cannot fool yourself. So it's better to accept, yes, whatever I am, it is me. Yes, I have to do this. I have to get that. If you, if you want to become rich, you have to tell, you have to accept that. I have to achieve that. I have to earn that. I have to work for that. And in that process, there is no excuse. Uh, what I have, really I have understood is, no excuse will work. No excuse. I'm telling in a bold word, no any excuse. No complaint. You keep complaining, the time will pass on, pass on, pass on and one day you will realize that you were still complaining and you got nothing in life. That is you who could not achieve. So you cannot blame anyone if you can't achieve. So there is a quote, if you are born poor, that is not your fault. But if you die poor, that is your fault. That yes, if you are born poor, that is not your fault that he sent you almighty sent you if you die poor that is not anyone's fault that is your fault and telling about my own experiences 
I have seen from very low level to a very like uh, how to say wherever I am today or whatever I am doing is I am very happy I am satisfied so to be satisfied in a life that is the most important and most difficult thing what I, I, I know to be satisfied it is not about money it is not about anything else it may be anything but to be satisfied within yourself is the successful life what I know and what I feel it is the real successful life if you are satisfied with your job then you are a successful successful person you doesn't need any crore of bank balance and right now what I'm doing is I'm an artist I'm making films videos or blogs or I'm working in some Bollywood movies and South and uh, trying for much more things I have many uh, my dreams or what do you, what do you call aim but I'm satisfied why because I'm earning I'm living a life the way I want I can fulfill whatever my wish is so to come to this place where I could satisfy myself it took a long time really a long time from since childhood it already started the journey of struggle you call as you say struggle but for me it is not a struggle for me it is a passion it is love for what I love to do what I enjoy to do by performing dance or action or acting or making films or whatever I'm doing in sports or music uh, any this kind of field arts I satisfy myself I love it I feel happiness and when you are totally concentrated 110 percent into one way one path then you will feel happiness you will not feel any distraction from any side yeah it will happen sometime it happens many things will distract you in life but one thing I genuinely tell you maybe maybe the problem maybe uh, money family support or society or your school or your education or anything I'm not much educated I'm just only 12th past and then I could not uh, continue my study I wanted to be a doctor but uh, okay leave it aside <laughs> so talking about the framework of hard work or struggle it is very simple choose what you love what makes you happy happy what makes you satisfied what what uh, the things which you do and you don't feel tired that's the thing you should follow um, that's what I follow and I'm just sharing uh, my feelings so there is no excuse one point another point is no complain no blame if anybody have uh, behaved something uh, negative to you take it inside remember that and show that fellow or show that show them what you are capable of in the journey you will feel many times you will feel that uh, you are not getting what you want uh, you are not you cannot see what you want you will be totally blurred you will be totally like blackout sometime it happens but you have to remember that you came that is that was your decision you came in this journey you decided it so you have to complete it that is very simple I read in one Hindi in my schooling time class 2 or somewhere that there was a one story like apna kaam swayam karo that means do your own work that's it it is so simple so do your work no complaint no here and there no distraction enjoy your life main thing is enjoying your life and you have to decide how you want to enjoy your life enjoy doesn't mean drinking smoking or doing uh, any those kind of things that doesn't mean enjoy enjoyment of life enjoyment means doing positive things which makes you positive which makes you your life positive which gives others your friends your family your society your village your town your state your country to the humanity the positiveness that is what I feel that the real uh, duty or how, how to say real uh, as a human as a man as a cultured human we have to follow we have to think for others we have to think for the society you cannot live alone 
it doesn't it doesn't really matter how much money you have you cannot live alone you have to live with the society you have to grow together helping each other you like or you don't like you agree or you don't agree with me but yes this is the fact universe is for all you have to go with everyone in that flow so if you have some positivity in you if you have some positivity uh, some positive uh, energy or positive thinking something anything which is good if you have share it let other also get some positivity let other also grow you also grow that is success and i will tell you frankly everyone is selfish in the world everyone each and everyone but don't be so selfish that you stop thinking about others no think about others think about betterment for the society betterment for your people your community your state or your society automatically i have seen it really i have seen it i have in tripura i have stayed in like one day meal or something in agartala slept on the road in dim sagar there is park near cornal uh, sorry near northget uh, and i have slept in that garden i have slept in uh, agartala railway station i have slept in many people's house requesting them to so that was i knew i knew inside that i will do something 100% i knew that and that's why i was never sad about all those i was never ashamed of my position or my uh, status in that time i was never ashamed of that because i knew i will show them if if i was walking on the road in lake chomni to with a chappal or something with very poor kind of dress i was never ashamed why because these people who if they love on me i will show them some other day i will show them what i am capable of and that's why the only word which will take you somewhere where you what you dream of is the believe believe is really important i believed in myself and today really i can see that i believed it's not about bollywood movies or anything i believed myself to be somewhere different today i could achieve what i believed and i'm still doing it i'm on my way i'm on the path i'm on still i'm walking if you keep going if you don't stop it doesn't matter what is the pace what is the speed of your walking but what matter is you don't stop if you stop gone don't stop i have done many uh, small small jobs to for the survival like teaching in some primary schools or selling pans uh, selling newspaper in the, at the railway station or uh, like washing cars and all i forgot there are many works which i have i did so i'm not ashamed of that i'm proud of myself so believe in yourself be proud of yourself 110% one day you will say that yes if you believe and if you are proud of yourself then the world will respect you if you respect yourself the world will respect you if you love yourself the world will love you if you are proud of yourself the world will be proud of you if you believe yourself the world will believe you <laughs> so as you can see behind this is our backyard and i used to practice my martial art or gymnastic or flips here only in this paddy fields and river banks i could also complain that i don't i did not get uh, those mats and spoons those uh, where people usually practice gymnastic or something those who practiced in some of the expensive classes or some training center they are also working there with me i am also from here here from this land from this scenario i am also working with them with the international firm so it doesn't matter what matter is what you want how do you work and how much you can give for yourself how much you can do for yourself love yourself believe yourself be proud of yourself the world will also follow you and yes not only about yourself think and work for everyone 100% everything will come on the right track for you so with that i again sincerely 
would like to thank all the fraternity of the college uh, holy cross asha and everyone uh, thank you thank you very much hambai hambai belaike for uh, giving this opportunity to, to speak and share my little experience with you all so as i always say one life live and let live tipra hayuk lokthung long live tripura long live humanity